I actually didn't really mean to color coordinate the fact that today's Monday and I'm wearing a black shirt. It's just, or the fact that my collar's a little bit off. There we go. But, uh, yeah, that happened. So, let's see. My low, my high, my act of kindness. Well, my low was the fact that last night I had to go to bed pretty late. So, if you see me yawning a lot, you'll know why. I didn't mean to plan that. That really just happened just now on its own. But my, but my low also originates from my high yesterday, which was the NFL Top 100 is back. Yes, it's finally back. I've waited so long to be able to watch this again. And I'll talk about that in a second. And my act of kindness, act of kindness, act of kindness, act of kindness. Um... Huh. Oh, right. Uh, before I went home from a Cuca Lake last night, uh, one of my, um, I just helped clean up the cottage a little bit. Specifically, um, you know, vacuuming. You know, I had to vacuum the, because, uh, I mean, I said this before, maintaining a cottage is kind of hard to do. Like, even if you're in an area that you don't specifically use, or, you know, I mean, an area in the cottage, I mean, you don't know, use. You know, it still gets dirty, apparently. So, you know, you got to you gotta clean up. And that's what we did. So, yeah, we, you know, we did as a family. It was nice. Um, you know, I mean, it's not like I was going to do anything. I mean, for instance, my father actually, because uh, here's the thing. At our cottage, I mean, you've seen my cottage before. You know, you know us already. Our porch is conveniently located underneath the tree. And the tree actually provides pretty nice shading on a hot day. Although, a couple of weeks ago was... Actually, a week, a week ago, that really didn't help at all, but you get the idea. And while it provides shade, things also fall out of trees. Thankfully, nothing like crazy, like a squirrel or anything has never fallen out of a tree. But, um, like, obviously leaves, branches. The most annoying things are these, like, tiny green little seedling type things that, uh, that fall off. And so, before we actually got ourselves a leaf blower, what we would do is you had to sweep it off by hand. Well, you use a hand to, like, you know, that's like, you know, I can't really make the motion, like, but yeah, it's me trying to use a broom is what I'm trying to, is the motion that I'm trying to make. Everything is more like, you know, like that, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, that's what they gotta do. Other chores that we usually do is uh, water flowers. You know, we have, we have flowers to water. Um, you know, if we're having a big get together, obviously we make dinner and stuff. That's, that's a given. All in all though, you know, what's been, it was a pretty nice day yesterday, and uh, I think I'm ready to kick off this week. Good morning, happy Monday, everybody. Uh, so, as I said before, last night they premiered the NFL Top 100, which was awesome. But the format they're doing is, see, a year ago, they did 10 players a night for 10 nights straight, which I actually did really kind of like. Because you really, it really, you were able, it allowed you to maximize your opportunity to be able to see them. Because, you know, they premiered 10 a night. Not too few, not too many. You know, there you go. This year, however, they're taking it a little bit too far. And they are premiering, premiering a, a 30 players. So, last night they did from player number 100 to player number 71. Here's the thing though. They do 10 players per episode because that takes an hour. And it started at eight o'clock last night. So naturally I did not go to bed until after 11 o'clock. And one thing I really like about watching the NFL Top 100 is like the announcer guy is kind of fun, kind of, um, you know, kind of jokey, where, 
Like, seriously, at one point he said, there's no way you're going to remember everyone on the list. So, they thankfully, they like to recap people, but even then, you're not going to remember. So, actually, I don't know. Let's see if we can't. Uh... All right, so. Hold on a minute. Oh. Are they only doing a. I'm trying to find the. Uh... Oh, right. So. Trying to um, do them all. So, number 100, Levante David from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. You know, also a linebacker. Um, David Waller from the Las Vegas Raiders now, number 99. Number 98 is Brendan Brooks from the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, Buda Baker from the Arizona Cardinals in 97. 96 is Chris Carson from the Seattle Seahawks. Number 95, Frank the Shark Clark. From the Kansas City Chiefs. Number 94, Jason Kelsey from the Philadelphia Eagles. He's actually famous for that uh, famous Super Bowl speech when they had their parade. Uh, number 93, Allen Robinson from the Chicago Bears. Number 92, Darius Slave, from, who's now a Philadelphia Eagle, but he was with the Lions. Number 91, Grady Jarrett from the Atlanta Falcons. All right, so that's... Again, I can't really talk about each and every single guy individually because I'd be here all day and I don't want to do that. So I'll just name him all right. Number 90, Kyler Murray. Yes, I was I was hoping Kyler Murray would make the list and he did. And number 90, which for being rookie of the year, very respectable. Actually, a couple of rookies were placed above him going forward. But, you know, I'm a huge Kyler Murray fan. I, I am. So, uh, so number 90 is Kyler Murray from the Arizona Cardinals. Number 89, Cooper Cup from the Los Angeles Rams. Number 88, Jalen Smith from my Dallas Cowboys. Yes, Jalen Smith. I love that guy. He's awesome. And he's going to have a big year this year. My Cowboys are going to the Super Bowl. I've spoken. Anyway, um, let's see. Number 87, another fan. Buffalo Bills fans rejoice. Josh Allen. Yeah, Josh Allen made the list at number 87. That's awesome. He had a really good year this year. I'm really glad he made the list. He deserved it. I really do feel he deserved it. Um, let's see. Uh, number 86, Marlon Humphrey from the Baltimore Ravens. Number 85, Zach Ertz from the Philadelphia Eagles. I like Zach Ertz. Zach Ertz is cool. Um, number 84, Cameron Hayward from the Pittsburgh Steelers. Number 83, Eric Kendricks from the Minnesota Vikings. Number 82, Ryan Ramchak from the New Orleans Saints. Number 81, DK Metcalf from the Seattle Seahawks, who, yeah, he was, seriously, I remember, like, the big story about DK Metcalf at the Combine, because he was, because he's a rookie this year, he has, like, 1% body fat, that's insane, like, not even, like, I think, like, maybe 3%, like, he's, like, he has, like, no body fat at all, it's incredible, and he showed he was, he even showed he was a baller, so, that's awesome. Now let's see, um, let's see, uh, number 80, Miles Garrett, which I'm really thankful he made the list considering how his season ended due to the suspension. Yeah. Let's see, uh, number 79, Clayus Campbell from the Baltimore Ravens. All right, uh, Miles Garrett from the Cleveland Browns. Um, number 78, my man and... I don't really have a favorite Dallas Cowboy, but there is one I do think about a lot. And that is big man Tyron Smith, man. Vice Grips. That's what they call him. Seriously, I think of all the Dallas Cowboys who I want to see win a Super Bowl, I think Tyron Smith may be number one on that list. I really think so. I mean, it was Jason Witten, but he's no longer the Dallas Cowboy. So, yeah. Love you some Tyron Smith. Okay, um, number 77, Keenan Allen from the Los Angeles Chargers. Number 76, um, Marshawn Lattimore from the New Orleans Saints. Number 75, Earl Thomas from the Baltimore Ravens. He was the guy who famously made fun of Derrick Henry before that uh, divisional round game. Oops. Okay, uh, number 74, Ron Staley, from, also from the Baltimore Ravens. Number 73, Fletcher Cox from the Eagles. He's actually quite a dangerous man. Uh, number 72, Josh Jacobs, who is also in contention for Rookie of the Year. 
And number 71 was Jarrell Casey, who was on the Titans, and now he's playing for the Denver Broncos. So, yes, that was 100 to 71. And, I mean, it'd be, I mean, the short answer for what my initial thoughts are is congratulations. You guys are awesome. You guys definitely put in the work. You definitely deserve the praise that you got. I mean, let's be honest. Some people are always, I mean, even among the players themselves, there's going to be bickering and debate over, you know, should he belong there? Did he deserve to be there? Etc. Personally, though, you know, the fact you made the list, you know, that's good. Although, I really hope that, because here's the thing, both Jalen Smith and Tyron, wow, they're both, I just realized, I just forgot they're both named uh, Smith as their last name. So, Jalen Smith and Tyron Smith, they both dropped pretty significantly this year in terms of where they were a year ago. Which makes me wonder, I really hope that there are more Dallas Cowboys on this list. I mean, Last year, I mean, I should count my blessings for last year because Dallas had the most players on the top 100 with eight. And so far, we have two. It makes me wonder who else is there left. I mean, I imagine Zeke's probably going to be on there, Ezekiel Elliott. I really hope Dak, Dak Prescott should have been on there three years in a row. He was there in his rookie year, but the last two years, I didn't put him on. I really hope he's on there this year. I'll be upset, that's because... Well, then again, considering everything going on with uh, Dak Prescott and getting that contract, I really hope that he stays in Dallas. <sighs> because, quite frankly, I'm just saying this right now. I mean, I said this before, I'll say it again. My teenage years were terrible. And while it wasn't a large part, the fact that Tony Romo was my quarterback did not help at all. So Dak Prescott has been a breath of fresh air. And I really hope he stays. I really, really hope he stays to my Dallas Cowboys. Please. Although, let's be honest, if he ends up leaving, it's going to be because of Jerry Jones. Jerry Jones is the reason why the Dallas Cowboys cannot have nice things. Usually. But, yeah. So, actually, who am I kidding? This guy almost drafted Johnny Menzel. Thank goodness his son stepped in. And we got Zach Martin, who I also hope makes this list. Actually, it'd be the first time Zach Martin was rated higher than Tyron Smith, now that I think about it. That'd be quite interesting, actually. Although, it also makes me worry because there was a time when Tyron Smith was, like, the top-ranked offensive lineman. Seriously, like, the highest that I think an offensive lineman's ever been ranked on the top 100 is, like, 18 which is where Tyron Smith ranked a couple of years ago. I don't think any offensive lineman's gotten any higher than that. The fact that Tyron Smith is, well, again, Tyron Smith also gets injured a lot, so that's probably another reason why. But I really am starting to fear for Tyron Smith because Tyron Smith's actually my age. I mean, we never really take into consideration how old some of these players are, but Tyron Smith is the same age as me. He's like 30. Or he's either 29 or 30. He's really, again, he, he's essentially, technically he'd be one of my peers in that regard. But, you know, again, if any, if I want to see anyone in a Super Bowl, I want Tyron Smith to do it. Because I don't think anyone would deserve it more than him. I mean, don't get me wrong. You know, some, I mean, the Dallas Cowboys that would be playing, they would all deserve that Super Bowl ring. But man, you know, Tyron Smith's had a storied career in the NFL, and he still earns respect from his fellow players, so I can't really complain. Although, it will be a sad day if he ever retires. I hope he doesn't retire because, I mean, he's Tyron Smith. He's awesome. <laughs> anyway, nothing new to report for today. I mean, what they're doing now is they're doing 30 players a night for like the next three nights. Oh, here's a, they're doing from 100 to 71 tonight. They're going to be doing 70 to 40, no, oh, sorry, 100 to 71 last night, 70 to 41 tonight. They'll do 40 to 11 on Tuesday 
and then there's going to be like a two hour finale where they do like the top 10, which, okay. Then again, if you make the top 10 on this list, I guess that deserves some sort of special notoriety. So right on. Like, favorite, share, hit the subscribe button, follow me on social media platforms, turn on those kids on YouTube. I'm very humble to make this video for all of you guys watching. Enjoy for today. We'll be a wonderful, wonderful Monday. And remember, if you guys want to talk or chat, I'm always going to be here to let the narrow ones back. Take care and make good choices. See ya.